Welcome to our New Tech Systems tutorial series. In this video, I will be demonstrating our purchase order receipt solution. We like to start with the receiving because it's a good initial step in the series of transactions and it's where the goods first arrive. Before I begin, we always like to talk a little bit about the software itself and how configurable it is. So on the left hand side is actually a screenshot of our software working on a smaller ruggedized device. We try to mold our screens to any form fitting device that you might have. So whether it's a smaller device like you see here, a tablet, PC or whatever you choose, our software will configure and it just comes down to user preference. Also, we are making sure that you know that all of our screens on the device are fitted perfectly so there's no inconsistencies that way and no option to scroll around and get lost, making it very easy for the user to navigate. If perhaps you want the screen to match your company colors instead, we can customize that for you as well. That's very simple for us to do and that configurability also applies to any of these buttons. So if you want to change the verbiage on here, maybe you don't want to say purchase order receiving or purchase order number and you want to say something else, we can easily change that for you. That just goes back to our user acceptance and for the purpose of reducing training. All a part of making sure that those users out there are familiar with what they're doing out there on the floor and can get through these screens very quickly and efficiently. So all the buttons that you see on the screen here that have a question mark can be prompted, making the software paperless as well. And I'll actually show you more of that as we go through these screens here on how a user can easily navigate these buttons if the items coming in are not labeled. But if they are labeled, as they are in this example, you'll just see me scanning through this process. But just know that you can click on these buttons as you go through the transactions, making this software paperless as an added feature. So we'll go ahead and get started on the process of receiving an item. First, we're going to scan the purchase order of the item. As you can see, the location actually auto defaulted to be the receiving dock down here. We did that on purpose in this example just to show that's an option with the flexibility of the software, but there's a couple of options here. If there's only one receiving dock and you're only ever going to receive items at that one specific location, there's no sense in having the user have to click or scan every time. So in that instance, we've auto defaulted the receiving dock location to limit any potential confusion. If you'll be using the same receiving location 100% of the time, we can set that as the default location, but also even hide it off the screen completely to make it less complicated for the user. This can be especially useful if there are new people coming in trying to figure out how Viewpoint works. They may not know if the button is even necessary for them, so it can be helpful to conceal it completely. But the software is conveniently versatile so that you can select and open up any button with a question mark seen next to it. If you do have multiple receiving docks, you have the option of clicking on that button or scanning the location that you're receiving it in on. This just gives a little bit more detail to the back end as to where this specific product was received. But in this case, we've defaulted it to our receiving dock, so we'll continue on moving through this transaction that way. So once we've scanned the purchase order number, we're then going to scan the item number. It's going to give a little bit of description of what the item is and the unit of measure just below that. Obviously the location is already defaulted from before. We're going to scan the lot number if the item is lot controlled, but if it is not lot controlled we will know that ahead of time and it will be automatically hidden off the screen. That is just to ensure that no one has to mess around with it or think that they have to scan it as part of the transaction. But in this example we will scan the lot number because it is lot controlled and then we'll scan or type in the quantity that we're receiving at that point. From there, the purchase order receipt transaction is complete. Sightline is updated in real time in the back end and the items are successfully received. That concludes this New Tech Systems tutorial on our purchase order receipt solution. Thank you for watching.